Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is chaos. So we got a huge Timu order. You guys know Sam has a shopping addiction. And he likes to shop online. Let's just show you what he bought today. So Sophie got this. I can't do it. Hula hoop. It's got a weighted ball on it. And you have to swing it around. You are doing it. So she got that. So he bought excavator remote control, truck. excavator and dump truck. Yep, that's that's what he bought. Why'd you buy these? Uh, for when Jacob comes, we can, we can play in the dirt. Sometimes I feel like these are not really for Jacob, but for Gabby and Sam. Back up this way. Let me tip this thing down a bit. Oh, I and I got Molly I between my legs who's looking to see like what the heck. He also bought a water bottle cap, a wa like the big water jug cap, and then all these little bird call whistles. He bought like so many bird whistles. And he bought labels for his toolbox because he's cleaning out his toolbox. And over in this corner, I have been cleaning out buckets. I try and do three buckets every single day to try and clean up our basement. Over here, I have toys, but then I have all the old picture frames that we had in like our old, 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 old house. Like I think the first house Sam and I bought together. Yeah, no, wait a minute. Yeah, the first house Sam and I bought together, we had these pictures and these were the pictures of my boys. Let me show you. It needs to be cleaned. It's all dusty, but that's my oldest son. I think he was in grade five. I don't know, maybe seven, maybe eight. I think he was in grade eight. My middle son in grade five. And then Nick, you guys know, most of you guys know Nick. And he was like in grade kindergarten or something, grade one. But yeah, these are my three boys. I had that hanging up. I always love to find frames like this because it's kind of like a time in your life preserved. I also found this baby blanket uh, that I made. I made three random baby blankets one year. I just started making them. I made a pink one, a blue one, and then this one. And I ended up having a grandson and a granddaughter right after I made them. So I gave them the pink one and the blue one. And this one is yet to be determined. The most incredible picture ever I found. Sam took this shot with my camera at our first barn that the girls ever, no, the second barn that the girls ever rode at. So Sam took this picture of Sophie and she was six years old and it was at the barn and this is way before we had horses. I love that kind of stall where the thing comes down and you can put it up. Anyway, that's Sophie. It rained for two days straight. It's so, anno so annoying. That's why I always try and pick up the poop out in the paddock before rain is gonna come. Oh, hello, Willow. Where's your partner in crime? Are we still riding today? I don't know. We have to wait and see what the arena's like. It's literally the most annoying thing. We want to ride like it's spring and we want to ride every day now, but the weather is not cooperating in any way, shape, or form. Plus, there are a whole week of smog we couldn't ride through. And there's the big man himself. <laughs> He's like, I'm coming, Gabby, you're my girl. Storm and Honey and Gracie and Willow have all joined an alliance. He's, he's the boss of them now. The only one that cannot be controlled is Penny. She goes off on her own. And when I bought her, her old owner said, Penny never ever hangs out with other horses. Like, you will see. And it's true. She doesn't really hang out with other horses, but you know who she does hang out with? Chino when they're not in the field she's always with Chino she loves Chino so look at this field I don't know if you guys can tell so there's some like really long tall grass and then there's some really short patches so there's like a whole patch here I don't know if you guys can tell in the camera but they've eaten this whole patch down sometimes people see our fields and say oh my gosh that's too much grass you guys are crazy strip graze them but what they don't know is that we do our own version of strip, strip grazing. I want the horses, I want the horses to have an entire field to run, and they do run. And especially with Storm here, he chases them all the time. And I want them to have this big, huge field to run in and to like be a happy horse in. And we just don't leave them on it all the time. Which I guess if they could stay in a stripped area, if they could stay in a smaller area and stay out there all all the time, they'd be just as happy. So I don't know. I don't know what way is right, what way is wrong. All I know is that everybody who has a horse does it their own way. 
and does it differently. And a lot of that is because everybody's farm is different. Uh, you can only work with what you have. Maybe in another farm, another day, another time, we'll practice strip grazing and leave them out there all, t all day. I don't know. But being able to learn about it all is like actually amazing. I tried to bring Penny through here. She grabbed a, she grabbed a whole bale of hay. <laughs> to give you guys a quick update on what I'm reading. I like to always set like a summer reading a program for myself. I always like to read a certain amount of books. This summer I'm reading a 16 book series. A 16 book series, there's like one part of the series which is four books or three books that I might not read but I'm, I've set my goals high and then there's one other book that I want to read as well. So I'm reading a series, The Assassin, The Assassin I think from Robin Hobb. Uh, it's like, it's like fantasy and I just finished the second book. I really like it. I'm enjoying it. I'm hoping to finish the whole series, but I just want to know in the comments below, if you are a reader, what are you reading this summer? Or what are your reading goals for the summer? So we are at our Tuesday sales barn and we love it here. It's like this one big, big yard sale. So if he wants to check out the beauty stuff. Hello. Hello. Hi. This is Scentsy. No, it's Avon. Oh, the, I do the both, but I only do Avon here. Oh, this is Avon. <laughs> the truck says Scentsy, but all of this stuff is Avon. Antique stuff. Oh, look at that. I love that. It's 10 bucks. It's a beautiful picture. I don't need it, but it's cute. Lots of antiques. Oh, look at that one. That's $10. It's adorable. We've done that. So this is where I bought my dryer, my clothes hanger thing. Tomato plants. Lots of plants here. Look, these little containers would be better for your, your goose food. Yeah, so we just saw both, Lady. And it was 50 for both if you bought them separately. So we just saw a lady math. selling chickens for $30 each. Oh, wow. They are adorable. What are these? White rock layer chicks. Make on sex. White rock? White rock, yep. I've never heard of those. Yeah, the meat chickens. We've never done meat chickens. Yeah, the white rock's the same as the bird rock. Yeah, they're the same as your bird rock so chickens, just funny. pure white. So they're the same as your bird rock, but pure white? Yep, that's the only different. Yeah, there's some red ones and there's red ones. Oh, I see a, a red one. Yeah, a little red one in there. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Oh, really cute. How are these day old? Uh, they're four days old. Four days old. So that is the lake that is here today. It's a lake, and we I are not dressed does. well. They would have loved. It. <sighs> so the meat that you like is all sold out. So I got these. Mm, that's why we're late. Well, that's one of them. No, this is something different. It's a yeah. total. Yeah. He told me it's a totally different kind. Yeah, this is five dollars for one. Yeah. The other one is five dollars for no. a pack. No, they're all five. I get. Oh, this is the one you get? Yeah. It's $5 for one piece Glossy of meat? Or whatever it's called. No, he said he doesn't have that. This is different. Is that? It is different. It's the same. This is the same. This is the stuff I buy all the time. Oh, well, anyways, I also bought pepperettes. You want pepperettes, Gabby? Or do you want that other stuff? So bad news. What? So the trip on Saturday, they didn't get enough people. Oh my gosh. You're so we have to either go Sunday. All right, let's go Sunday. We're actually going away on Father's Day. We're, we planned a trip, something special for Father's Day. I'm gonna show, tell you guys more about it just on the weekend. Yeah, I just walked through a puddle. There's only puddles here. You really want that chicken. You really want that chicken. Yes. So those little baby chicks it's that we should. <laughs> Sobe, it, we have, it, our chickens just came off heat and it's not warm enough yet to get a baby chicken and not put it on heat. It could stay in my room for No, I know how that goes. Do you think there are horses here today? I don't think so either. It is cow day. Holy moly. Cows and sheep and goats. Wow. It's a lot of cows. It's so fluffy. So update on our silky. So this is a different kind of silky. We have two different kinds. What are what are they called? Like look at its eyes. Bearded silkies and regular silkies. So this is a bearded silky. See, he's got eyes. I'm keeping him. <laughs> we don't know if it's a boy or if it's a girl, but look at it. 
Show its feet, like its top is gray and its bottom is gray. I'm keeping it. It's really cute, show how fluffy. It's so fluffy. Another thing that I found in the in the buckets that I've been cleaning, our Sophie's old dog, doll collection. We got rid of a lot of them. We kept these baby alive. We kept this one. I'm gonna wash their clothes. I washed their faces. Oh, its face is wet, but usually it blinks and does that. And then there's a video on YouTube somewhere of this baby, Sophie getting it. It's a boy and I think it's anatomically correct. And she loves this baby too. So I'm gonna put these like in a, in our toy box. I'm making a, a new toy box for the grandkids when they come over. I love this one. I know, I love that one too. There's a girl version of this one that we're keeping too. I don't know where she put it. Yeah, I still have more buckets of toys to go through. When we moved here, Sophie was only 10, nine. <laughs> like, it's adorable. I said love. I think this one like was supposed to be a buff, but it's like between a buff and a white. It's got some buff colors in it. Anyway, look okay, at, I'm just wait, show its beak. Even its beak is blue. So purebred silkies will have blue ears and black skin and five toes. This one's really cute too. This one is very cute. We still don't know which ones are girls and which ones are boys. Well, we can't tell now. Silkies are really hard to tell. You'll tell what ones are more scared are the girls. Yeah. Or the ones I like are boys. Boys, if Sophie likes it, it's a boy. These are all the baby chickens that we have left. We sold a lot of them. You guys saw we hatched a lot of eggs this summer. There's one that looks like it could be a boy. Honestly, why is she so dirty all the time? She rolls. Oh, because it's been raining, that's why. <laughs> it's actually cold and kind of gross out. I found these in the basement when I was cleaning the basement and they're these metal canisters. I think what happened was when we moved in, we just didn't, we just didn't unpack everything. But anyway, I thought these would be so good for the horse treats. Currently I have them in this big bucket here. And we made a lot of them and we have a di couple different kinds. And I recently got a, a recipe for treats for horses that can't have sugar. So we do a lot of treat training with our horses. So I don't like to give them treats with a ton of sugar. So treats that they like that don't have sugar in them would be so beneficial. So I'm gonna make them. I think it's just flaxseed and water. All right, so there we go, all of our treats. Um, next time I make these, I'm going to freeze some of them and put only some of them in here because when I give like this treat to Penny, oh look, it's in the shape of a heart. When I give this to Penny, I break like a little treat like this, I break into four pieces. I don't want them to have a ton of sugar. I'm gonna, we're gonna be redoing this table in a few weeks, we're gonna like fix it all up completely. This is like our feed station and obviously my first aid station, but this is where we keep like our magnesium and we have two different kinds of grains that we feed and our salt. This is why I ended up yesterday with all of our cleaning supplies. We actually need more cleaning supplies and we need more uh, shampoo stuff. Yeah, last night the horses got wet. When we came down, um, it was on the ground. Oh, she took it off? She got out of that? The belly things were undone. I did them up. But she got it off? Yes. Oh, I was worried about her last night. It fits her. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute. She's it like, I don't really her. like it. <laughs> <laughs> Your foot looks so weird. She's such a love. That's her favorite thing ever. She's just like, so cute. just kiss me for, oh, I'm falling. <laughs> just kiss me forever. <laughs> Gabby comes down and takes care of Chino's feet every day. She paints them with, uh, care attacks and she does stuff to them to make sure that they're like getting better like healing like hardening and stuff so anyways last night the horses got a little bit wet and then it, the temperature dropped so the baby seemed cold so Sophie put a blanket on her just like um just like her stable sheet to dry her off and then I was awake half the night worrying about her because I was like oh what if it's getting warmer now and she has this little blanket on and she has so much fur and like I was just panicking like crazy, thinking like all the things that bad things that could happen. And so he said she took it off. The, the baby took it off herself in the night. So Sophie wants us to look at Honey's face markings. That's her color. 
And those are her face markings. It's like she's like got a, a like she's like Harry Potter with like a, actually it's a check mark. She's got a check mark on her head. <laughs> she's like, can I have some more treats, please? <laughs> she's so cute. She's not there. Sophie's like, wow, it is so nice to work with Willow. She just stands there, behaves, doesn't move. And Honey's still learning. Okay. You're looking cute. Look at that. That's a girl. a girl. Do you like that stuff for her hair? This, it works so well. Like all the other stuff, her hair just stays tangled. This actually helps. It was like that. Yeah, so it was like this. And now it's like this. I wow, look at all the blonde in her hair. It's so cute. And then she sadly has gray hair. Oh my gosh, it feels so soft. Gabby also takes Gino for long walks in the, around the property. She goes sometimes like all the way around two times, sometimes three times, depending. She goes twice a day actually, she takes him for long walks. Only because even though he's in the dry paddock, most of the day he comes in for lunch. He's, he's still not in like a big paddock to run and be free with all the horses and stuff. And he's an energetic horse, so even though he seems kind of lazy. He does like to play around, he's a boy. So she takes him for a walk two times a day. There's just so many things that we do all day. So, can your horse do this? So when you're on one side and you pick that foot, can you go over to pick the other foot? I've heard horses do that. She's such a good girl. So she's like 19 or 20? 20. She's 20. She's an old girl, but she still loves to do tricks. Yep, she's our old girl, but you know, <laughs> miniature horses last so much longer. But we love her, you guys. Like, she's the one that, that taught us about miniature horses. Your tail's annoying. Your tail's annoying. It's the same as your hair, Sophie. I know that. My hair gets to me, too, when I'm trying to hoof pick my my horse's feet and yes i sat on the ground for these two because they're so short i know it's easier they're short as well. Don't you know